Good morning guys, this is Nightwolf. I'm just doing a quick little troubleshooting guide for not only everyone else, but <clears throat> for the members of the Ninth Assault Corps who are new to Arma, to using TeamSpeak and Discord. So I'm going to do a kind of little small video tutorial series of just kind of going over the basics of troubleshooting for how to get your stuff to kind of work and what you can should expect. So what I'm going to work on right now, this video is going over the TeamSpeak and how to connect, um, how to install the plugin for Task Force Radio, and kind of some little bugs that you might experience. So first things first, of course, you want to go to um, download TeamSpeak. You can, if you don't already have it, um, then you want to go to do do do. You want to actually go to uh, TeamSpeak's website itself. So just go to Google, type in TeamSpeak, um, and you will get their main web page. So right here, I've already got it pulled up. So this is their TeamSpeak. This is TeamSpeak's actual website. You can download the game, uh, not the game, the communications uh, platform itself. Just hit free download here. It will. It should start downloading. Um, oh, uh, hold on. You can. I don't like. Screw off. Um, let's see. So with Windows, you want to take a pair, uh, notice of what type of Windows you have. Most computers nowadays are running off the client 64-bit. <clears throat> so all you have to do is just hit the download button, and it will automatically download. It will go to your file path of going towards your downloads file um, extract that using winrar 7-zip whatever might have you or if it's just a, actually i think it's actually just an application install so you just have to click on that <clears throat> and it will run through its installation process when that's done and teamspeak 3 has been actually installed you should see this little icon here so it's a little blue circle with a kind of like a gamer dude with a headset so that's going to be now on your desktop all you have to do is just double click on it. It will then bring up this screen to join the Ninth Ass uh, Assault Corps TeamSpeak server or any server for that matter. You're going to come up here to the top left where it says connect. Hit the connect button. You'll have access to um, server passwords, uh, nicknames, and addresses. This is actually for the uh, 4th Battalion Armco community. So. Uh, to join our server, all you have to do is zero out all of this and then type in 9th AC and then connect. Connected. And this will automatically deposit you into the 9th TeamSpeak itself. I'm going to go down into my channel. Switched. So with this, this will get you onto the TeamSpeak itself so you can talk with a recruiter hang out with any individuals, and then participate in the actual missions with the Ninth Assault Corps during our off times or training or whatever have you, whatever we might be doing. So um, that's pretty much all you need to know about how to connect to the TeamSpeak to adjust uh, your microphone settings and headset settings and everything. What we're going to do is we're going to head up to Tools, head down to Options, and in here, you're going to see a bunch of different things. So uh, the one we're going to be looking at right now is going to be capture and playback. We'll be coming and visiting add-ons here uh, in a different video when we're talking about how to install Task Force Radio. So uh, what we want to do is we want to look at playback. And we want to look at playback devices. So I have a Corsair Void. That is my current headset. You have something different. so. Keep an eye out what you currently have. Um, if you're unsure of what you have, uh, best way to check that out is you can come down here to the, I believe it's volume mixer. Yep. You can go to volume mixer and it will also show you what devices you have. And then you can kind of play around with whatever one. And then there should be a uh, little noise that plays. So every time you want to try to figure out where something is, if it that is the correct one that's being used uh, for your headset, or if you've got another um, 
sound device that is currently active, that's where you can find and kind of test out where that is. You can also use, um, with TeamSpeak, they have added this nice little feature where you can actually hit a play test sound. Testing your playback sound system. So if you're not sure what system you might be using, just hit the drop down, go through all of them, and then hit play. Testing your playback sound system. Hit that button. The capture device is going to be pretty much the same situation. You can have, uh, you know, I have a web, ca web camera set up so you can see my microphone off of that, but you also see the microphone off of my headset as well. Um, you have push to talk. So push to talk will only turn your microphone on once you hit an actual hotkey or a key on your keyboard or your mouse um, to act physically activate that mic your microphone. Now do keep in mind that when you use push to talk, there is like a point three ish main delay on when the uh the microphone actually starts picking up what you're talking about. So some cases you want to like press the button and then speak. Give yourself like a second or two to then speak because you might start talking before it fully is live and you'll will miss hearing like the first word or two. There's also continuous transmission and voice activity detection. Never, 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 never use continuous transmission. This is what we call hot miking. Hot miking is when your vo microphone is just constantly, constantly active. Currently on the left hand portion of my screen a little bit right here, you can actually see my little blue dot is lit up. So when it's dark blue, that means no one's that person is not talking. If it's kind of like this lightish blue, then that person is actively talking. So I use voice activation detection um, mainly because I, I, there's already enough keys being used in game for Arma, and I don't want to have to press another key to talk. So I just have it set to active. My apologies, guys. I'm still working on my coffee. Um, so you can also, uh, to be able to set your voice activation detection, you want to make sure that you have it. I use automatic because that seems to work best just for me. But you can also do a uh, stop test. This will give you an idea of how your voice levels are and decibels. So as you can hear in screwing me up, is I can hear myself talking twice. So... This, this will, will give you your range of decibels, decibels while talking. So when you're trying to figure out what you know your activation range is, that's what you can be able to do. The other thing too is you want to take a look down here. You want to remove background noise. Um, this will attempt to back filter out any background noise you might have, like fans or um, if you had small children running around, brothers or sisters being loud. That will try to remove that. You can also do echo cancellation because this will try to subtract any type of audio that is being recaptured. So you know how if you take a microphone and you place it up against a speaker and does that horrible screeching nails on glass kind of sound? That's going to kind of attempt to um, mitigate slash negate that. So that's something you might want to use as well if you, um, you know, you're you're told like, hey, we can hear an echo going on. Maybe try giving that a, a, a check mark to double check to see if that's uh, possibly a reason for the echo. So try turning that off. Um, other than that, that's pretty much just about it. Um, if you are trying to do anything further with the TeamSpeak. Um, all you have to do is just ask one of my uh, one of the techs that tech support troopers that we have here, or just anyone in general, um, and we'll have more than enough people to help out and you know try to get you through. Um, but that's pretty much the general dynamic of what to expect with Teamspeak, some small basic troubleshooting, um, and just some how to connect to the server. Um, if it's still not working and you still need some help, by all means, let me know. I'll try my best to help you guys out as best I can. Um, and if I can't do it, then I might. we might know somebody who is uh, a little better at it, and we might try to get them going through. So um, 
with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this one uh, and start working on the next one. Next one is going to be Discord. So uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, do feel free to leave comments down below. Again, I'll try my best. Um, and or if you're interested in joining the Knights of Soul Corps, uh, we are a Star Sim community and Arma. So all you have to do is just type in Knights AC into the connection tab and you're good to go. Until then, this is Nightwolf and I'm signing off.